Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zendrop to Etsy in 2023. Of course, Zendrop is a powerful platform for dropshipping. And Etsy is a popular online marketplace for handmade and unique items. So, in this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to integrate your Zendrop with your Etsy store. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and sign up for a Zendrop account. To do so, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the URL section and here, basically, let's start by clicking zendrop.com and that will get you right away to the home screen or main screen. Here, of course, if you don't know much about this website, you can always scroll down. You can see this video, as you can see, 4 minutes and uh, 40 or 42 seconds. Very easy. So free shipping, automated drop shipping. So just read this information by your own. Of course, you can see what people are saying about it and a lot of other. So you can have like a general idea and familiarize kind of yourself with this website. And then once you finish, of course, just go up. And if you have an account, of course, you can always go and click on login in the top right corner. But if you don't have an account, just go and click on create your free account. So here for me, I have an account. I'll just click on login. If you don't click on create your free account, it's very easy to do it by your own. So once I click on login, as you can see, I did not enter any credentials because they did it like recently. So they didn't ask me to do it again because when I log in the first time, I check the option of remember me. So I don't have to keep like entering my credentials. So here, what I'll need to do, of course, once I am on my dashboard, I will have to go and connect Zendrop to Etsy. In your Zendrop dashboard, make sure to navigate into the settings or integration section, wherever you have it. Or instead, you can simply go to the top left corner and you'll find here a connect my store option. Click on that. And as you can see, Shopify, first of all, will be as a default store if you want to connect it. Simply, if you want to connect it, just go and get your URL of the admin and click on connect and you will be good to go. If you don't want to uh, use Shopify, as you can see, you can simply click on I want to connect a different platform. Click on it. And as you can see, once you click on it, you'll find two options here. You'll find Commerce, HQ, and WooCommerce. You will not find Etsy. And as you can see, if you don't have a store, you can simply click here on Get Up and Start Running and the five minutes. And this, uh, as you can see, will just go and create a store for you in Shopify. So for us, we don't want that. So let's just go for this moment to go and click on etsy or let's just go and open a new tab and here of course you will have to type etsy as we said dot com and hit the enter button once i do i'll be taken again to their home screen or main screen and of course again if you have an account click on sign in here at the top right corner and once you click on it, if you have an account, of course, you'll have to sign in into it. But if you don't, you'll have to click on register instead. So basically, uh, Etsy, as I said before, is simply a popular online marketplace like for handmade uh, and unique items for sale. So here, of course, you can log in or even register using your Google account, Facebook account, or even Apple account if you don't want to get through all, sorry, so if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. For me here, I'll just use like continue with Google. I'll choose the account that I have on in here. And login, of course, you can do that for register for your own. And as you can see, I will be right here. So now what we'll need to do, of course, is go first for to your shop. So go here to the top right corner and click on the shop manager. You'll find it at the left of your account icon. Once you click on it, of course, you'll be taken to the dashboard of your shop. So here, just simply go to this left panel and here you'll have to go into integrations. Once you click on integrations, as you can see, you'll find here a lot of applications that you may aim or you have the option to integrate with. Basically, for markets and promote your shop, you'll find Pinterest, uh, you'll find other options, improve your listing and understand buyer trends, you'll find those options. For manage your book keeping and taxes, you'll find those options. For understand and manage your inventory and analytics, you will find those options. As you can see, you don't have the option of Zendrop. And even here in Zendrop, once you click on connect to store, you don't have the Etsy store or uh, yeah, the Etsy store or the A2 option to connect Etsy. So what should we do in this case? 
just in one case as an example uh, some of you will like see this see old and say oh you didn't click on it yeah here's it there's like uh, there's no zen drop here so don't worry about that so there are for us like just simple or the the simple way to do that you can simply go to your uh, dashboard here into zen drop and now you'll have to use as an example a shopify store or like any other store that they have here and of course you'll have now to go and get all your products or all your listing from etsy and import them into your new shop like as an example you can simply like use shopify go and create an account in it uh, because it's the default for zendrop and here of course make sure to log in into your account uh, or create a new account so get just get into your store go to your website and make sure to add click on add products and import all the products from your etsy you can do it manually or you can even do it automatically so just go and import them all once you import them now you can go to your dashboard here and of course go to connect my store once you click on it you'll basically have to give them the url so go here to your uh, shopify make sure you are not in this product page just go to home once you are in home copy this once you copy it of course you'll have to go and paste this here and then click on connect and as you can see once you click on connect you will be taken here you as you can see to shopify they'll tell you to install the zen drop and drop shipping uh, like app make sure to go and click on the install app and that will be it for you once you install the app of course you'll be able after that to customize any product listing if needed and set some pricing rules uh, manage orders monitor inventory handle customer service whatever you want uh, as you can see that's the only way if you want to connect like Z drop to Etsy because if you saw or as I showed you there is no way to connect Etsy directly to Zendrop so we will need another store which is going to be basically like you can use, choose whatever suits you depending on here they have three options they have Shopify they have like WooCommerce and Commerce HQ so choose whatever suits you and of course you can import those uh, products you can import all if you have like many a lot of products there is some there is a lot of ways to import all the products so basically just go and import them all as you can see for me i am currently suspended here on my shop manager because i break some rules so i'll not be able to do it at the moment but of course for you it's very simple you can google it it's very simple to do it and it just imports it to the shopify store woocommerce store or the commerce hq store and simply connect that store to zendrop and basically you like that you connected like your etsy store to your zendrop store so that's going to be it for me today if you reached the point of this video congratulations you've successfully connected zendrop to etsy in 2023 with this integration, you can effic efficiently run your dropshipping business using Zendrop features within your Etsy shop. And of course, regularly check your uh, or for updates or new features. For example, maybe they can even add like the Etsy stop in the future and Zendrop directly, and you don't have to use Shopify anymore. So that's gonna be it for me today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.